In the morning, a case that has gained national attention will be back before a judge. Today, this woman, Carrie Halford, was in court for a hearing, and we learned some shocking new details about the funeral home she and her husband, John Halford, owned together. A place where investigators say nearly 200 bodies were found near Penrose. 11 News reporter Melissa Henry was in the courtroom, and a warning some viewers may consider the testimony that she is reporting on disturbing. During the hearing, an FBI agent testified, saying the scene looked like, quote, something you would like to forget but cannot. That agent said brown decomposition fluid and maggots lined the floor of the 2,500-square-foot building. Bodies were shown in photos stacked in piles. The FBI agent said those bodies were of adults, infants, and some fetuses. Some wrapped in plastic, some in duct tape. Some were stored in plastic bins and others in cardboard cremation boxes. Some were still in clothes or hospital gowns and were otherwise left exposed. One of the bodies found was of a sergeant first class who served more than 20 years in the U.S. Army. According to the FBI agent's testimony, that veteran was reportedly found inside the Return to Nature building while a different body was placed in what was meant to be that veteran's casket. A full military honors funeral was given and a burial at Pikes Peak National Cemetery. Investigators exhumed that grave, confirming the wrong body was put in place of that veteran, all according to the FBI agent's testimony. Also found in the funeral home building, three refrigerators described as makeshift containing bodies and hundreds of pounds of concrete mix, which victims' families have said they suspect they were given in place of actual cremains. 30 to 40 bodies, according to the FBI agent, still have yet to be identified. For KKTV 11 News, I'm Melissa Henry. Let's continue our...